First, I'd like to say that I'm overwhelmed and awed to be selected to join this special select group of Purdue Aerospace Engineering alumni. My journey to Purdue was probably somewhat unusual. When I was growing up in Vermont, my dad was a corporate pilot. When he would have to fly the company airplane empty, like to a location for maintenance, I was able to go with him and visit a college or university nearby the destination airport. I had the opportunity to visit several institutions that were too far to drive to by this method. During the spring of my junior year in high school, my dad needed to take the airplane to Dayton, Ohio for an avionics refit. Mom and I were able to travel with him. My parents were then taking an airline to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where my dad was receiving a safety award at the annual National Business Aviation Association meeting. I took an airline to to Lafayette from Dayton. When I arrived at the airport, I was very impressed by the Purdue University monikers on the hangars and other buildings. I discovered that Purdue owned and operated the airport. I said to myself, this is a really aviation oriented university. I took the shuttle to the main campus, got a room at the Union Hotel and began to explore the campus on foot. I asked one of the students walking around where the aeronautics and astronautics school was and he gave me directions. I went in the building unannounced and asked who I should talk with to discuss applying to the school. I was directed to Larry Carnino's office. He spent a couple of hours with me explaining the curriculum and the admission process. He then took me out to the airport and showed me the aeroscience laboratory with the wind tunnels and other test machinery. I was very impressed. He then took me back to the main campus and let me attend a class in subsonic aerodynamics. I was convinced that I wanted to attend this school. The next day I flew to Pittsburgh to rejoin my parents where I told them that I really wanted to attend Purdue. When we got back to Vermont, I immediately filled out the application paperwork and sent it off. I received my acceptance letter a few months later and I was elated. I had even purchased a Purdue Aeronautical Engineers patch that had Purdue peat with wings, which I sewed on a windbreaker and showed off to my friends. I still have that patch. When I got to Purdue in the fall of 1963, Larry became my faculty advisor. He was a great mentor and motivator and a very big help in navigating the trials of freshman engineering. The sophomore year was where the fun really started. I was extremely impressed with the curriculum and especially the faculty. The highlight of my Purdue undergraduate experience was the A&ES 451 and 452 Design 1 and Design 2 courses taught by George Palmer. In Design 1, we had four teams. Two teams were to design a corporate jet and two teams were to design a fighter aircraft. I was in one of the fighter design groups and we designed a strike fighter, which we named the Pterodactyl. We won the competition between the fighter groups that was judged by engineers from industry. Several of the members of our design group have stayed in touch all these years and we have had several reunion get togethers that often included George. Following my Air Force career, I became a professor of aviation and aeronautical engineering at Daniel Webster College in New Hampshire. George was my model of what a great teacher should be like. George also became my graduate committee leader following my undergraduate career when I stayed on at Purdue for graduate school as an Air Force Lieutenant. In my Air Force career, the biggest career impact was my attendance at the Air Force Test Pilot School. During this time, the average pilot accepted into the Air Force Test Pilot School had two combat tours in different aircraft and a graduate degree in engineering. I had the two combat tours and my Master of Science in Aeronautics and Astronautics from Purdue most certainly helped. Purdue is very well thought of in the flight test community. In closing, I'd like to say again how honored I am in being selected for this award and what a beautiful award it is. Thank you so much.